G'day folks, it's Rob here and welcome to our Backyard Farm and Aquaponics YouTube channel. Today's clip is a little bit of a catch up on some jobs we knocked off in the aquaponics this week. Uh, one of them didn't go quite to plan but I'll bring you up to speed with that. Um, and I'll also show you uh, a couple of ideas around how you can set out your aquaponics system, as in how you can locate it within your yard to make the most of the sun come different times of the year. So the first job Mayer and I knocked off yesterday was to remove the heavy grade shade cloth from over the top of the fish area of the aquaponics and the lighter shade cloth from over the grow side of things. Um, the reason we have that on there is in summer it can get very hot in this position, particularly where the fish tanks are with the morning and afternoon sun. So we like to give them a little bit of shade to keep the uh, water temperature down for the fish. Taking the shade cloth off is pretty easy um, and as you can see we've got it all laid out here on the ground so we can fold up the different grades. Um, May has actually laid them out how they've gone on the shade house so we can pretty much we'll put them out in the same pattern come next season. The next job we did was trim a lot of the trees back. Now the reason we trimmed the trees back were uh, the neighbour's tree is blocking some of the afternoon sun from the system and our mango tree is blocking off a lot of the morning sun so I'll come to that and show you what I mean in a minute. The next job was to put on the lighter grade shade cloth. In fact, this one here is just a 20%. And it's actually an insect netting. Uh, we use it to keep cabbage, butterflies and grasshoppers away from the other veggies around the place and the fruit fly. To fasten it on, all I've done is popped a couple of zip ties here and there. This end's got a few extra because I've rolled up the netting just to make it easier to walk underneath. But generally, there's just a couple in um, key locations, like there's one up there near that top hat and the next fastening on this section is down there on a pole off the other hoop house. I've just found that when storms come through, just watching them over the last five or six years, the shade cloth very rarely moves, even the heavier grade. So this stuff here, uh, the wind just passes straight through it. It doesn't get any lift and yeah, it stays in place. So we're pretty happy with that. It also helps conserve zip ties. And we do make uh, these little clips out of the pipe work as well and we use them in some locations where we want the, to be able to unhook the shade cloth. But yeah, pretty happy with the way she's gone on. Um, we were planning on raising the shade house a little bit higher, but that just hasn't come to pass. Um, I didn't want to push my back the other day because I need to uh, relocate uh, some of these poles and also a lot of these hoops need to come off and more star pickets driven in to um, accommodate for a longer hoop. So, yeah, um, I thought I'd just leave it be for now and we'll tackle that next summer. Uh, but as you can see, there's a whole lot more light coming into the system. We'll just go around the other end and I'll give you a different perspective. So we're just down the back of the system at the moment and I'm in the position where I showed from the last clip the afternoon sun and it's roughly the same time of day. You can actually see the sun now because I lopped off some of the trees coming over from the neighbours. It's behind a bit of a cloud at the moment so it's not looking too bright. Uh, but we are getting a lot more light down into this back end of the system here. Uh, the ginger don't look too happy, but that's because of another ongoing problem we had a while back. But there is a lot more light reaching this um, area of the system. The Owen knock I transplanted out last week is doing rather well. Uh, suffered virtually no transplant shock from what I can see and has put on some nice new little growth. Um, I've also planted out some Warrigal Greens or New Zealand Spinach just down in here. Um, hopefully there'll be enough sun hitting this that we'll get a nice decent greens or um, spinach greens crop from them through winter. Now when it comes to locating your aquaponic system in the backyard, we had a few uh, points in mind. Uh, basically we wanted the fish tanks shaded from the harsh afternoon sun and during winter we wanted to make the most out of the daylight sun uh, basically here in the southern hemisphere our sun is in the northern sky so north for us is up that away for you folks in the northern hemisphere you'd want to set, situate your aquaponic system or any garden you want to receive the maximum amount of winter light facing south because your winter sun will be coming from the southern sky. Um, you can also use it to extend the growing season of some warm plants, um, like I mentioned in the ginger growing clip recently. If you can um, make, take advantage of the early spring sun and the late summer sun by positioning your plot, whatever you're trying to grow, 
facing the direction of the winter sun, um, it will give you a, a little bit of an extended growing season. So um, what I'll do is I'll just run through um, how the sun moves through the sky here, just to give you some idea um, as to why we located the aquaponic system where we have. So north for us is roughly in that direction over there and south obviously is the other way. So we're in the middle of our fall or autumn here at the moment and the sun is setting there. In winter, the sun will be setting roughly just round about there in the afternoon. So it means it will be traveling through the day as it rises from the east, just over the back of those trees there. It will be rising there following an arc in the sky on the solstice that's fairly low. The leaves on that Chinese celtus will all drop and we'll get sunlight through there and then come over the top there and then set down there in the afternoon. So we get a decent amount of winter sun here, as you can see. So it's one of the reasons we set the aquaponics up on this side of the yard. So when it comes to summer, our sun sets behind the neighbor's house over that way. So it's behind those trees there, behind the neighbor's house. That means for the last couple of hours during the day, our fish tanks up there get a nice break from the summer sun. And that's also the reason why we have the heavy duty shade cloth over there. It's a 90% shade cloth that we double over to make sure it doesn't get a lot of light through there. During the day, it's fine though. I mean, you know, the sun's passing over almost vertically over the top of the aquaponic system. So all the grow beds get a decent amount of light through the day. And we also have a little bit of extra heavy duty um, shade cloth just over those three drums there that hold the filters and the sump tanks. So it does pay for you to think about these things when you're planning out your aquaponic system. You know, it does help you to have the system in a convenient place in the yard, but if it gets no sunlight through winter whatsoever, you're going to end up with cold water for your fish. Depending on where you are, you may not be able to um, grow any fish out through winter. And also too, you know, plants do love a little bit of sunshine. Uh, most plants will get away with at least a little bit of shade some are more tolerant so yeah it's definitely something to keep in mind you want a position that gets the best of both worlds when it comes to your winter and your summer sun so taking off the shade cover was the first job for yesterday the second was popping that pump into the system which did happen but obviously I've taken it out again so we'll pop around and I'll explain what happened so yesterday I swapped out this pump for my existing 10,000 litre an hour 250 watt pump that's running the system now this one here the reason I bought it I did have someone ask in um, last week's clip or the comment section was why would I want to run such a high wattage pump now you'd have to go through and have a look at this clip up here uh, just in that little link it runs through how I've got the water split up through my system I've got one pump sending water to five six seven eight different positions around the system a small little 3,000 litre an hour jobby just isn't going to rotate the water through the system to clean it properly. So that's why I run a fairly large 10,000 litre an hour pump at the moment and why I wanted to upgrade to a slightly larger one. Um, I am planning on adding a couple more beds to the system so I wanted the increased flow. So now this one here, 15,000 litres an hour, supposed to run lower wattage, 220 watts an hour. When I popped it in the system yesterday, it wasn't flowing anywhere near the level of the pump that I've got in there at the moment. Now down in here, um, if you're familiar with our clips, you'll know we run a biofilter. And this biofilter normally bubbles away like this constantly. Um, always water coming through mixed with um, some air in a venturi. And it's just churning the biomedia. Now yesterday when I connected the other pump, all I got was a few small bubbles coming through here. Now in the fish tank itself, the water was definitely not flowing as fast as it should. I could tell by the protein line on the top of the solids lifting outlet pipework, it was sitting about an inch and a half or um, 40 mil below where it would normally run. So the water rate flowing through there definitely was no good. I checked all my hose works, all my plumbing, everything was hunky-dory. So definitely an issue with this pump here. Now, what I ended up doing was taking off this cowling and I also removed this little piece here. This piece here um, just has a little bit of a knob that you can advance or retard the flow on it. I took this off and I sat it in the sump tank just like that and I still saw no improvement whatsoever. I was speaking to a couple of the um, awesome folks over on Patreon 
about pulling this to pieces and having a look inside. Uh, from what I can tell, the impellers are running smooth. There's nothing stuck in there. It's brand new out of the box. There's no obstruction down through the um, pipe work there. So I I've basically have no idea what's going on. To my way of thinking, we probably just ended up with a dud pump from a batch. So at this point, all I think I can pretty much all do is just wait until after the long weekend's finished, and then I'll ring up the suppliers and have a bit of a chat to them, and just see if they can help me out. Um, maybe they might want to do a bit of a bench test on it to see how it works for them. So yeah, slightly disappointing, threw a bit of a spanner in the works, but I suppose we just got to work with what we have. We might um, toss a bit of food in for the fish, hey? So I have noticed that these guys are a little bit shy um, since the shade cloth came off yesterday with their morning feed as well as their feed yesterday afternoon. So what I'm thinking about doing is just running a little bit of 50% shade cloth just over the top, um, just to give them a little bit of shade over the surface of the tank, uh, especially in the afternoon because the sun pretty much will set down through that opening of the lid there. So I don't think they're going to put on much of a show today um, I can tell you though that the nitrate in the system is still running at around about 40 to 80 parts per million. So we do have a lot of nitrate still flowing through the system. And they're getting a little bit messier as they grow too. Um, so the plants are getting a load of food. Because I've chopped back a lot of the plants the other week, I have cut down on their feed a little bit. Um, I don't think it will affect these guys too much. Um, a lot of them have got a nice bit of size on them. Um, getting a bit boisterous, fellas. Uh, so they, they should be right with um, lower rations for the next week or so. They're making me lose my train of thought. Trying to get some footage of them coming up and hitting the pellets, but they're waiting until they hug the side of the tank before they're coming and polishing them off, so. So it was pretty cool having a hand from Maya, thank you sweetie, uh, for changing out the shade cloth and also helping me lop those trees off. I think the extra sunlight um, is going to be appreciated by the plants. Um, I didn't show you while walking around, but I have noticed we've got a couple of coral lettuce that look like they've germinated and some Chinese amaranth. I scattered the seeds out through the last clip, um, so I'm pretty impressed to see some of them have sprouted. And also too, the Malabar spinach, um, it's put on a couple of small branches through the week, so that was pretty impressive. A um, bit disappointing that the, um, the pump was a bit of a dud and also too that I just broke my tripod, but you get that. So um, I'll revisit that later. The reason I wanted to show the pump in this clip was to run through future plumbing work and then just show you where bits and pieces were going to be laid out. But yeah, we'll wait until we have the pump in before I do that now. Quickly before I go, I would like to send a huge thanks and shout out to all the wonderful folks over on Patreon who are starting to um, support this channel more and more. I don't know if you folks are aware of it, but um, yeah, the YouTube AdSense, AdSense thing is sort of, yeah, um, drying up a little bit with a few scandals across the network. So um, you guys on Patreon, I really do appreciate the uh, support you've given us. If you do want to check out who's supporting us on Patreon, there's a list in the description down below. And anyone who's given me their YouTube channels, I've linked them next to their names. So you can go suss them out, um, see what they're about over on their YouTube channels. And if you want to see what um, our Patreon's all about, you can click that little link down there. Uh, it's next to my hairy mug, which you can click on if you want to subscribe. Uh, I do hope that you've enjoyed this clip. Not the one I wanted to show you, but you get that. Hope everyone's gardens are booming and your aquaponics and I will catch you next time. Cheers all.